Alright, this is Nathan Marler with another video on the LEGO Disaster Refuse Collector. So what we have here is the front axle for the machine. It's actually reasonably simple. It's just really a frame, a, a little servo motor, this one from the uh, LEGO Rock Crawler Kit, and then the suspension and wheels. A uh, little bit interesting thing with the suspension is most of you should be familiar with uh, these all little rod rod linkages here. Well, the little joints that connect the suspension to the axle, it's actually basically one of these things that I just uh, chopped in half. So uh, yeah, that's what these uh, little green pieces here are. So yeah, then, uh, dear, that just connects there and will uh, attach to the machine and prevent the axle from waggling side to side. Now the gearing in this axle is uh, rather different from the gearing in the uh, rock crawler. It's a lot higher geared, so the motor is able to actually angle the wheels a lot uh, at a lot steeper an angle. So if I hook it up to a little one of the infrared receivers, I'll give you a little demonstration. What's also really interesting is if you have one of these uh, variable uh, speed controllers, it also works with this to give you uh, variable angles. So there you go. There's a right turn. Quite a hard right turn. Back to center. And over to the left. And again back to center. So now how this thing connects up to the rest of the machine. Uh, right here. So the way it works is we just have the uh, little socket right here. Well, the uh, little ball joint on the end of the axle just connects up right like that. This uh, linkage here connects in oh right like uh, no not like that. Right like that. Flip it over and the Suspension attaches. Oh, suspension attaches like so. And I uh, like that. So, yeah, it's a very sturdy axle, gives uh, lots of spring movement, uh, very stable, should work wonderfully. So keep watching for more.